What's up, Sir PB? This is going to be a demo video for you for your vintage custom that I machined for you. Um, I'm not quite done with the second one you had sent to me. You wanted a corn horn for that one. So I hope to have that one later on in the week, which I think I mentioned when I went over this. I record the second part of this demo, I record first. So um, I'll have the other one later this week. I can send this now or I can wait until I've got the other one done if you like. But for now, uh, let's go over my desk and take a look at this one. What's up, PB? We're going to go over this vintage parts uh, scrap saber that I made for you, custom saber. I'm not quite sure what to call it. It's a Solo 9, if you want to be technical about it, because this is the ninth one that I've made um, totally from scratch, minus the, um, the vintage flash handle that you sent to me. You did request that I try to use these, which I was able to do, which uh, a first for me, which is very cool. The red will be your power. The black here will be your auxiliary. We'll go over that, of course, okay? Um, I had this piece laying around. It is a little bit beat up on one side right here, um, but I thought it, was, it still looked pretty cool because it is a vintage cannon piece and it had this on it right here, all right? Um, I dropped this down to, to about a brush finish on the actual handle so it kind of matched the rest of the saber, but I did leave this alone. So a little beat up, but it is vintage. <laughs> uh, this is a kind of like a fidget toy. It does come out. You can pop it out. You can take it out permanently if you like, but it is something that goes in here. I went ahead and just left it in there because I thought it was cool to just kind of play around with. So up to you whether you want to leave that in or how you want to do that. All right. Uh, this was made for a 7 8 inch blade, and you've got a shadow foil props lit PCB in there. And that, of course, is your blade retention right here. Now, I did thread this right here, but we don't want to take this off from here. All right. Um, lastly, I forgot to mention, this is one piece I was able to salvage from the vintage handle that you sent me. Um, it's an 832 thumb screw. So I used it to lock in the sleeve to the core that I machined. All right. So that doesn't really come out. It's just for aesthetics, but we don't want to unscrew the handle here. Um, I did that because I had to utilize these for switches and uh, I put it right back on the flash down here where it was. So I did have to glue this on. Um, I glued these screws in. All right, so that's that's how I did that there. To get to your chassis, you're gonna want to unscrew this. I went ahead and I knurled this um, pommel for you. One, to match what I did up here, but two, so it would be easier to grab onto when you twisted it on and off. All right, so we'll take that off, board out for sound. Your chassis should slide right out, right out into your hand. And this was printed from black carbon fiber. All right, it just says uh, Solo 9 Custom. And then it says uh, Vintage Camera Custom over here. All right, or, or Vintage Custom Saber over here in Arabish, rather. The uh, Profi V3. You can get to your SD card and your micro USB from here, as always. Although this is just a snap fit down into the shelf. So if you wanted to pop that up, you could. If you do keep popping that up though, put a little bit of E6000 on the edges. As it stands now, it's a pretty tight snap fit. Um, if you didn't lift that up to do any changes, you shouldn't ever have an issue with that. All right, uh, 28 millimeter Smuggles Outpost dark side speaker, and this sounds really good in the Saber. Recessed in there and then fully enclosed. Kill switch right here, as I usually do, and a removable battery. All right, so spring side, please, for the negative side of your key power, 18650. All right, so we'll pop that in there. This is running the Scrap Tech font from my dude, Kasith Keenan. Now, of course, you can take this and you can put it in however you like. There's a 15 pin PCB system in there that doesn't come out. It's locked in with both these two screws here. And then also this guy right here mainly is what's locking it in. So it locks in that little chassis piece and the sleeve to the core. All right, take this and just slide it right in. We'll take your pommel, screw it on, tighten it all the way down, nice and tight. You can come over here and hit power. So your LEDs are firing up. This saber at 2000 is super loud. Auxiliary. And you've got twist off, all right. 
7 8 inch blade. So we'll put a 7 8 inch blade in here, come over here and lock it down. I went back and forth on using this piece because of the damage, but I just really thought um, it was a really cool piece and it looked good on this saber. So I do hope that you agree with that. I just think it adds to the character of the saber. All right, we've got our blade locked down with our blade retention. This is an 832 power. So we're lighting up a blade very well. It holds the blade very tight. just have the one sound font on here for now but scrap tech uh soundtrack all right turning it off and back on and twist off now although it is um threaded up here I did not adhese it. What I did was I just grabbed it as tight as I could and I twisted this close as tight as I could to try to lock those threads in so that you wouldn't open that accidentally. But I didn't put any kind of like uh, set screws or adhesion on those threads at all. I didn't think it needed it. Blade out. Whoops, hit my camera there. Come over here and unscrew the pommel. All right. Slide the chassis out. You can see your indicator light there. As soon as we flip the kill switch, it cuts that power. All right, and then when you want to take it out, the positive side is over here by your speaker. You can just pop it out with your finger. Um, but that is basically your custom saber with this particular flash handle you sent me. You actually sent me two. Um, the other one you wanted made into a corn horn saber. So I am thinking that one through. Um, and I hope to have that one done this week. But for now, this is your custom saber. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.